Yeah, I know, I'm pretty late to the party, but I did want to talk about this. Fortnite Creators, Fortnite Creative, FN Create, has updated their, I guess, like, <laughs> it's a little bit vague, but they've been talking about rules that were already in place when it comes to creative maps. It's a little bit of an extension on this entire drama surrounding the Fortnite Creative and Discovery community because people, of course, have been abusing the systems and getting their map to stay in Discovery, getting their maps to get plays and clicks and likes and favorites when it's completely against the, rule, against the rules. Fortnite Creative uploaded a tweet saying and clarifying to some extent their rules, and then we're going to take a look at a bunch of creator replies like Cypher PK, Clark Clint, Dumb Blonde Gaming. We're going to take a look at all of them, although Gaming Night might not have been part of the title on Dumb Blonde. doesn't really matter. Regardless, we're going to take a look at them all today. Hey guys <laughs> hello everybody and welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is kyle i'm your guy with too many youtube channels let's start off with taking a look at the initial post from fortnite creators reminder tricking players by asking them to like or favorite an island for a fake reward isn't cool and is a violation of our rules these are scams and we won't allow it creators should remove these elements asap to avoid an overall bad time our moderation team will be escalating penalties, including impacts to monetization, removal of islands, and account suspension. I love this. I think this is great. But the problem is, and this is what a lot of people have been pointing out, and this is something that we're going to get into moving forward. So stay tuned to hear again from guys like Cypher PK. Creators should remove these elements ASAP to avoid an overall bad time. What a lot of people want to see is just, hey, they knew that this wasn't okay. Ban them. Get their map out of there. We don't need them to remove these elements now i still haven't really dove into the specifics about the rules myself which is something that honestly i apologize i should be doing especially if i'm coming and talking to you about this platform i would imagine that as fortnite said this already is breaking tos it's not okay to do this if that's the case if this was a well-known thing i say completely ban them otherwise and this is where i was kind of on the stance throughout my other couple videos that I made, give them a chance, just tell them to remove it, and that's kind of where I was, but there were a couple replies, and we're going to take a look at, first of all, we're going to take a look at the amazing Clark Clint, and I completely agree with this, to be honest with you. He had this to say, I wish you would have made this post after giving people the penalties. Now the bad actors have a chance to change their maps and receive no punishment, yet reap all the advantage from their deceptive tactics. That's entirely true. I completely agree with this entire thing here. It would have been nice if Epic Games just went on a complete ban hammer spree and took away all of these maps, the people abusing the system, the people that everybody's been complaining about because they got their map to where they are. And again, there are, there's some very, very specific maps, okay? I'm not talking about these crazy people in the Fortnite creative community. And honestly, if you wanted to subscribe to the channel, if you are not, by the way, I'm going to be uploading another video diving into one tweet specifically by another creator really just calling out this community because while it is completely true people like Gersey and people taking advantage of the system should be banned there are way too many people out there just crying and wanting that people are doing better than them in general we're going to be uploading an entire video talking about that specifically but for now i did want to take a look at another tweet by cypher pk thank you I think very specific rulings need to be put in place so people know where the line is. Encouraging players to like and favorite versus tricking players to like and favorite. Yeah, I I have I don't understand the, like <laughs> why there's some controversy over what Cypher PK said because people have been talking about hey Cypher you released your pit map right after this you didn't care people are still kind of riding him for that but I didn't see anything wrong with what he said personally. Let's take a look at another tweet from a user by the name of Mikado. Why give them a chance to correct their mistake? Stop treating them like children and take action already. They know better and they don't need reminders. They are just taking advantage of the whole platform and it is disgusting. I love this. Out of every take that we've taken a look at today and are going to take a look at, I think this is wonderful. If you guys know something about me, I don't understand why people like this need to be warned. People like this need to be forgiven. They've done something that's not okay. They've scammed people. Why are we giving them a chance to correct their mistake? I absolutely love this. Stop treating them like children and take action already. I think that Epic Games needs to listen to the people coming through this. And I was scrolling through the replies and I was shocked to see that this didn't have nearly as many likes, especially from a verified user. You know, like the post will go a little bit towards the top. I don't get it. I think it's, I think it's very well said. I think it's to the point. We love to see it. But guys, before we take a look at the next two tweets that we're going to take a look at, I don't know if there's two tweets. I don't remember how many tweets I gathered for this video. <laughs> I want to plug this in really quick, guys. If you are interested in supporting the channel, if you don't know what creator you want to use in the item shop, please consider using code CLEN in the item shop. I'm going to be plugging this from time to time because, of course, as many of you know, I just had a kid. It went fantastic, by the way, but my goal throughout the year is to make enough money from all my YouTube channels to make it so my wife never has to go back to work because we're starting our beautiful family. I want her to live like a queen. I want this for her. So I'm working really, really hard on YouTube. Using my code in the item shop would go a very long way. 
Thank you very much, guys. Let's continue taking a look at another tweet from the username of DWDFN Dustin. This is amazing to see moving forward, but when are the bad actors going to actually be punished and quit profiting from these tactics? It seems the bad actors constantly doing these types of things are always busy reaping the rewards of being dishonest while smaller creators take the hit. I have seen many smaller creators lose their earnings, publishing rights, and supporter creator codes for far less. It's time to cut the head off the snake. Now, what's very interesting about this tweet specifically is it's true. I have seen a lot of smaller creators lose their earnings, publishing rights, and supporter creator codes for far less. Epic Games is not having the same standard here at all. At all. I didn't even think about this, to be honest, and I thought it was incredibly well said. It's a good thing that Fortnite Creators is posting this, is is apparently having their mod their moderation team scanning these maps, taking reports seriously, taking down maps. It is all really, really cool to see, but it's true. The standard needs to be held, and especially when it comes to this entire situation, I don't believe, like so many people are saying, I, I, I don't, I think these people need to be punished. I think these people need to be punished. It's crazy to me that we are still <laughs> this position after everything that we went through, right? But I did want to take a look at, oh, and I was right when I said at the beginning of the video, Dumb Blonde Gaming. Going off just a little bit from the initial topic of replying to Fortnite creators, I found this very, very interesting. And honestly, I see, whenever I see a lot from this chick, I, I think that typically it's pretty well said, but I'd, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I don't completely agree with the entire part of this. Anyways, two parts of this tweet. I am just sick. Yesterday, I found a lightning bolt violation in a very popular map with over 20k concurrent players. The interaction was hidden behind a player council moderation wouldn't see it. These creators are so damn sneaky. I reported it via in-game and message Epic directly. I decided against taking it to Twitter to be the bigger person. Today, it is gone and there's a disclaimer added to the map. All while the map stayed in discovery and never moved. They got caught violating the rules and nothing happened to them. How are we supposed to live like this? How are we supposed to love and trust Epic with anything when they constantly, constantly show us otherwise? I am fuming with frustration. You know what? I am having an overall bad time, and I believe that's an that's a meme. Is it Undertale? Something like that. I don't know. Regardless, this is probably something that Epic Games definitely did do. I don't see why Dumblon would just come on here and lie about this, especially when I've seen a lot of rational tweets coming over from her end, right? It's... I, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to say about this, because... Epic Games is probably still wanting people to go on and play creative. Let's say, I, I don't know what to, like, let's say Biozone Wars. That's a very popular one. It's a map that I absolutely love. As far as I know, there's not a, any tricks on that map. I haven't really paid attention to that. I just go on and play. I favorite the ones that I love to play in the lobby myself, but <laughs> I should start liking creative maps, man. I never, I never realized how much that really really matter but i should do that for people and by the way if you're looking for an amazing amazing creative map check out bio zone wars oh, i love it. i love playing zone wars but anyways what happened is epic games probably just messaged them and said to take that down if the map got a lot of plays epic games would probably still want it to remain in discovery and get all the plays and that's where it kind of becomes a problem because the map is getting epic games a lot of play time a lot of v bucks spent they probably don't want to take it down and they probably gave that creator a chance to get rid of it I don't think that's right personally, but I do understand the side of Epic because I think that's probably where Epic would be coming from in that sense. A little bit confusing, but it is, oh, excuse me, it is sad to see from a lot of creators' perspective. But Dumbledore did have another part to this tweet. I miss when things were focused on creativity and not money and greed. There's more than enough to cycle around, to share more creations, to inspire and nurture creatives. I am sad for the community I've been a part of since day one. My heart is broken. This is the part where I disagree with it a little bit. I think that it would be wonderful if everything was just focused on creativity everything was about passion and while for a lot of creators that still is the case like come on man there's there's so many people just making creative maps because of money and greed that's just not possible to have a world like that when you have people making money off their creative maps of course people are going to be uploading with the goal of making money take a look at the vast majority of creative maps the vast majority of them are there to make money and if they're if people are saying otherwise they are more likely than not lying to your face it's it's just the reality of the world man everybody wants money there's a way to make money through fortnite creative i want to make creative maps for i have passion in me to just make fun experiences but i see a lot of like oh my god i can make a lot of money from this that's my drive to dive into creative one day and i don't i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing to and i'm not saying that dumb blonde is saying this i I, there's a lot of people who really, really hate people money-driven. I don't think it's a bad thing to be money-driven. I'm not saying that Dumb Blonde Gaming is talking about that, but 
it would be nice if we lived in a world where it was all about passion and creativity, but unfortunately it's not. Unfortunately, this type of stuff exists, and I'm not saying that it's okay to trick people like people have been doing. That's horrible. That shouldn't take place, but at the end of the day, this entire ecosystem of creative is more driven about money than anything at all anything continuing on with the fortnite creative drama though guys i do want to point you over to this video if you want to take a look at the entire situation that happened with gersey's pit map specifically it was crazy cypher went unhinged it was nuts check it out right here guys thank you for watching